Hello, this is the Cobra MX460 SPC, which is an 18 inch rotary mower that has got a Cobra engine on it. And this is how it arrives in a cardboard box like this. So everything you need to mow your lawns is within this box. So what I'm gonna do is just open it all up, take it all out and show you how to assemble your new mower. So here it is, all unpacked, the mower, ready to assemble. It doesn't need an awful lot doing to it. It's mainly the handlebars that we're going to put up. So I'll show you how we fix those in position and, and the cables as well. Uh, and then we've got the grass collection box that also needs just a, a little bit of assembly to it, but very simple. So first thing I'm going to do is to undo these wing nuts from the bolts because these are going to be used to hold the handlebars in place. So we've got four of those each with a washer on as well. Okay, so now we can assemble it. So I'm going to lift this out of the way because it's, it's already partly done. So this is going to be the top of the handlebars when we do it. So I'm just going to lay those there like that. And then this one here has already been partially assembled. So that one will just pull around into position like this. And if, if you notice here on the side, there are two holes, a high and a low setting. So you've got to decide which one you want. And it's basically, if you're tall, you'd have it on the high. If you're not so tall, you'd have it on the low. So that, that's how it works. So to fix them, really simple. We take one of the bolts and we push them from the outside through. So that's gonna go through like that. So just wiggle it to line up the hole. They've got a curve on them like that. We then put on the washer and then one of these plastic wing nuts as well. So it really is very simple and only literally takes seconds to put that on. And we're going to tighten that right the way up like that. And then we do the same on the other side. So we put it through, give it a wiggle to get it through and just line up the bolt like that and then that's it nice and tight and of course you can alter those at any point if you decide they're too high or too low we just take those off move it on to the the other fitting <clears throat> the top piece then goes on here like this so really easy to do so we just make sure we don't trap any fingers um, and if I can just get Gareth maybe to just come and hold this one and then we put the washer on and our wing nut and we can tighten that one up onto there as well so that is it basically and if you want to fold this down to store it we just slacken these off and the top piece folds over like that there's also a cable clip here um, and could take that one off if when you want to um, but this one holds the cables nice and firm onto the steel handlebar so just put the two cables into it and then clip that on like that so that just stops them from flapping around too much and then at the top of the handlebar here so we've got these two to attach the cables the top one goes to the top fit in bottom one goes to the bottom lever there so you, you can't get them the wrong way around and to fit them on we just pop it out like that and then we can put that through the hole and it locks it into place and then it's just a case of popping that back into the hole in the handlebar likewise with this one just pop it out hook that in that way no matter which way you do it and then that goes into there so they're now spring loaded and operate these two cables there so it really is as simple as that to put it together two or three minutes maximum so what we need to do with it next is to put some oil and petrol into it the oil is provided the cobra engine oil um, and we need 600 milliliters in here and this is 0.6 of a litre 600 milliliters so we're going to put all of that into the engine so we just pull out the dipstick there don't worry if there's already a little bit of engine oil residue on it because these will have been tested in the factory first so I'm just going to wipe that off and then I can open the oil and we can pour that all into it you can use a funnel if you want but it's quite a large aperture in the top of the dipstick 
Okay, so I've put the, the 600 millilitres in there. I always want to check it as well. It's always good practice to check it. So push your dipstick back in and we can then read on there. And if I just hold that there, we can see the, the oil on there. We've got the two holes in the dipstick. That's the lower level and the top hole is the upper level. And we can see the oil has taken us to the upper level, which is great. So that's perfect. So we can put that back in there, make sure it's nice and firm. And then we can put some fuel in it. This one is unleaded petrol. Uh, E10 fuel is what we put in it, which is perfectly okay. But with E10 fuel, it doesn't last long. So it needs to be fresh petrol and you shouldn't leave it in the mower for more than 30 days. And what we advise you to do is at the end of the mowing season, when you're going to put your mower away for winter, then what you need to do is to either drain it off or run the engine until you've used it all. So there's no petrol in the pipes or the carburetor. Otherwise it just deteriorates and it won't start next year. And what you can also do, it's a good idea, is to put a, a petrol stabiliser in there as well, which you can buy. And that will just keep the petrol in better condition and the engine will run much better as a result of it. So we've got our petrol in there and we are then pretty much ready to go with the engine. Before we can start mowing, we need to just make sure that it, it is all ready and we've got a little bit of work to do because there are three ways we can mow, mow with this mow. It's what's known as a three in one. One is to collect, one is to mulch and one is a side discharge. So if we want to mulch, which is when we don't collect the grass clippings, it has a mulch plug in the back there. Now this is the mulch plug that just slips out. There's this piece of molded plastic that clips in to this hole just here and we can release it by squeezing it like that. So that just goes in there and clicks into place and that stops the grass coming out. It mulches it into very fine particles, blows it down, it keeps the grass nice and green, feeds it with the nitrogen, also helps it uh, with drought tolerance in dry weather. So that's method number one with the mulch plug in. Method number two is to be side discharge and a side discharge is when we want to get rid of the grass but not collect it in the bag. It might be that the grass has got a little bit long or you're just rough mowing and this fits on this side of the mower here and what we do is we've got a release button there to release this side flap and then this plastic molded chute goes into there like that. So the grass now, it can't go out the back of the mower because we've got the mulch plug in there. So it throws it out the side here and leaves it in rows. So perfect if you've got slightly longer grass. And the third method is we would take that off. We would also take out the mulch plug and we would put the box on it, the grass collection box, which I've got here. It's a nice big collection box. It does need a little bit of work doing to it when you first get it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get these plastic clips there and put them around the steel framework. So just open them up with your fingers and just peel that back so it clips over on the base. And then we've got the two at the side. Helps if it's a little bit warmer for these and they will be fine. So that's one on and there's the other one. So they're now ready in place. You'll also notice that when you unpack it, you've got two little plastic tabs like these. These go underneath here. So if we lift the flap, you'll see there are two holes here in the plastic mold and one goes in that side and one goes in this side. And they are for a purpose. It means that when you aren't collecting the grass, you haven't got the grass box on, you can leave that flap down. It just leaves some air gaps there so that the grass cuttings can be thrown out without clogging up underneath the mowing deck. So what I'm going to do though is put onto there our box that just sits on top like that and that goes down and holds it into place. Before we can start we want to get the pull cord in position onto the handlebar so this black lever here we just pull that back that takes the compression out of the engine and then just slowly pull that out and it will hook around there like that and into place. So that holds it, just makes it more comfortable when we're starting it. The other thing that we need to know about this is, as well as this lever here, uh, which we takes the compression out, but we need that to be pulled in when we're starting the engine. The engine won't start unless you've got that held back to the handlebar and to stop the engine, we just simply release it like that. The one at the back is the drive, that's the self-propulsion. So when we've got the engine running and we want to go forward, we put that 
up like that and we go forward. And the only other thing we need to do to start it, apart from pull the recoil, is to prime it. So when the engine's cold, you'll notice here there's a red button and what we do is push that three times when it's cold it just gets some petrol into the carburetor and the final thing is to lift the height of cut we never start with a mower right down to the floor because it can strain the engine and, and damage the lawn so we'd get the engine running and then we would adjust the height of cut i've already primed it we've lifted the height of cut so pull back this lever and pull it might take a couple because it's the first time but let's give it a go Remember to register your Cobra online at www.cobragarden.co.uk and always have your Cobra serviced regularly. Check the website for your nearest dealer.